Hello friends, welcome to another JavaScript tutorial. In this video I will show you how to change the position of the image through JavaScript. I will also show you how to build a small fun application later in this video. So make sure you watch till the end of this video. First we will take two input box and ask the user to enter new x-axis and y-axis position values and when the user hit move button those values will be applied to the image position so let's write a image tag Let's add an image here. Make sure it is in the same image is in the same folder. I am pasting it on everything on desktop. If you make a folder, give its proper location. It's a JPEG file. So the extension is .jpg. Save the file. Let's take a preview of our web page. Okay. We shall wrap this image by div tag and assign an ID to it. I will call it kids. Now using this ID kids, I will apply some styling to this do and also use the same ID kids in our JavaScript file to modify these styling information. Now let's apply some styling to the ID kids. Since it's an ID and not class, we use pound symbol followed by the ID name. Its position is relative. Relative positioning means relative to its original position. So let's let the position of the image be 500 pixels from top and 400 pixels from left of the document, HTML document. Save the file, refresh the browser. So this is 500 pixels from top and 400 pixels from left. Let's write a form and take two input tags so that user can enter the values and give it some ID name. I'll call it X and another input tag as Y. Let's take a button its type is button not submit if we write submit then we need to write action property in the form so when the user enters x and y axis value and hit the move button the image will be moved to the corresponding value entered by the user let's change the top to 200 pixels refresh okay, this is what is top 200 pixels okay let's start writing JavaScript code here we are assigning the user entered value in the input box with id x to a variable by name x x where x is variable x is a local variable for 
move it function of the JavaScript. So document dot get element by ID we get the element by its ID here in this case we get the value of the input box whose ID is X and store the value in the variable X var X which is a local variable of move it we will take another variable called Y and get the element by its ID which is Y this Y with the Y which is present in the HTML form and assign it to a variable y oh it's not style it's value value of the input box so it's not style so now the value of these input box entered by the users values entered by the users are stored in variable x and variable y now we will take another variable called kids and get the element by ID this time the due tag ID that is kids and modify its style property so dot style now whatever style property we assign to the variable kids it will be applied to the div tag so we use we change this style property using JavaScript so kids dot top the position will be relative we need not write it again kids dot top is equal to the user entered value which we have already stored in X plus concatenate it with a unit that is pixels because in style sheet we have given 400 pixels 200 pixels so we need to have the user entered value also in pixels so kid, kids dot left its left property is equal to user and user entered y value plus concatenate with pixel unit save the file now this move it function will be called when user clicks on click of the button on click event of the button okay this is it hope we are done with it save the file refresh okay it's working change the value and see 200 pixels it needs to move it it changes only y-axis x-axis remains constant 400 okay now let's change let's keep it 50 and change y-axis now from 0 so 0th position is this let's make it 0 0 let's move only x-axis 10, 50, let's give 50 so the image moves according to the values given by the user okay let's comment this out the form these are HTML comments save the file and refresh the browser now we will call this move it function whenever user move the mouse cursor over the HTML document this is just a small little fun application whenever the user tries to catch the image it just moves apart from the user it seems to move apart from the users cursor position so whenever user moves his cursor on the document we call the move it function 
on mouse move is an event and most browsers automatically throw event object whenever an event occurs so we will try to get this object and use it to our purpose if event doesn't exist this is to make it work on internet explorer then assign the event using window.event on mouse move event object has properties called client x and client y which gives coordinate values of the cursor on the client window in simple words these properties give cursor x and y access position on the document now we shall assign these values to our div tag hence moving the image mm, refresh I think we have an error okay we should not include parenthesis here save the file okay great it's working let's show our cursor position values on top of the document let's take span its span is a inline level element div, div tag is a block level element so take two span tags uh, give it an id of x and y document dot get the element by its id get element by id x and assign the value dot inner html it's a property inner html should be in capital letter assign this x value to it now document dot get element by id y dot inner html is equal to the y which the, these x and y are cursor position so they display the value of the cursor coordinates of the cursor let's use some styling and make it make the values display in bigger fonts 24 points okay uh, let's change the color also to red save the file refresh okay it's working it's just a small little fun fun application please click on like button to show your appreciation if you like it and also share this video with someone who might like it for source code explanation and for discussion on the topic please visit technotip.com t-e-c-h-n-o-t-i-p.com and take a moment to subscribe to our free blog updates you can see the latest tutorial links on the home page Clicking on which will take you to the detailed description of the topic. Here you can see YouTube video. We also have link to the same video on YouTube. Explanation to all the coding that we show in the video. Some important info, tips and notes that we might have missed in the video. Complete source code which you can directly copy and paste some examples related topic links etc you can also sign up to our free monthly newsletter and get a free gift we also have a comment section for more discussion on the topic again thanks for watching and please help us by sharing these videos